Previously on Pixelli. Are you Natalia Hernandez? Oh my gosh, mom, what did you do? Pretend to enter back and follow us to the car. What? This is not fair. Oh my gosh, mom, just listen to the cops. Go. I fill out the report and deal with the kid. Okay, so I just quickly stopped home to pick up Phoebe and Theo because they were with my mom while me and Penelope went down to see what happened with Diego. But now we are all on the way to the police station because now we need to figure out what the next steps are going to be. Mom, I'm so sad. What happened to Diego? Um, honestly, I'm not even quite sure. That's what we're going to go find out when we get here. Um, yeah, I'm kind of nervous for Diego, but I hope he's okay. Okay, so we just arrived at the police station, and now me and the kids are going to go ahead inside. I think Diego's already here with the police officers, but okay, come on kids, let's go inside. Mom, is he going to be okay? Um, I don't honestly know what's going to happen. Um, I don't even know if we're technically supposed to be here, but I want to make sure we're here because I don't even know what they're doing. All right, come on. All I know is that the mom was a witch. Right. Secretly. Come on, kids, let's go in. Oh, wait, before we can go in, we have to ring this doorbell right here. Ugh, doorbells. All right, let's ring it first. Oh, perfect. Okay, the door is just unlocked. Okay, let's head in. Diego! Oh, hi, Penelope. Um, how's everything going so far? Pretty boring. They're having me sign all these papers. Oh. You're a kid. Why are you signing papers? It's just questions about my mom. All right. Boring. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go see what to do at the front desk. You kids come and just wait over here in these chairs, okay? Hello. I'm here for Diego, and we're basically here to see what's going to happen with that. Oh, uh, we're getting everything situated. Please just take a seat, and we'll be with you in a second. All right. Thank you so much. Going to sit here. Then I guess we have to wait. I'm not sure where the mom is, but, you know, I guess we'll just wait right here while they figure out everything. Okay, we're going to be asking you a few questions and taking your photo. Please just be patient. I didn't do anything, though. I don't understand this. I'm being accused of a crime. I'm innocent. I don't understand what's happening. Well, obviously, you did do something. Ugh, don't you understand? My son's lying. We'll, we'll figure everything out shortly. When we start this loop on repeat Hear my chest, how we beat for you Okay, we're almost done. Just some more pictures, just in case. That's it. I'm done. 
Help! Somebody! Let me out of this place! Oh my gosh, my mama's so crazy. Why is she doing this? She's just embarrassing herself. Wait, I see her. Open this door right this instant. I could sue you all. Ma'am, you don't want to make this any more complicated than it already is. You just need to open the door. It's not that hard. No, we won't open the door now. If you just come with us, we can figure everything out. Just please stop. I'm done. I'm only doing this because I don't have an attorney. Okay, please um, just stop and calm down, ma'am. Okay, follow us back. I'm not going back to that jail cell. Ma'am? Oh my god. Fine. Let's go, I guess. Ma'am, we're going to put you in here just to calm down a little bit, and then we'll uh, bring you up to ask you some questions with your family, okay? I don't want to see my liar, son. He's lying about all this, I swear. Ma'am, please calm down now. Just let's come in here. Oh, my God. Time goes fast. We'll come see you in a minute. Theo, are you scared? Because I am. No, duh. I don't know what's happening, but I hope it gets solved. Me too. I feel bad for Diego. Yeah, same. Okay, everyone can come with me to the conference room. We can talk everything out. All right, sounds good. Okay, kids, come on. Let's follow the police officer, and we're going to go back into the conference room. All right, come on, Diego. Come on, Penelope. Okay, so we're just going to be getting your guys' side of the story so you guys can explain everything to us. Okay, sounds good. So, um, Diego, do you want to explain? Yeah, I mean, I guess... Okay, so I'm just going to be asking you a couple of questions. Are you okay with that? I mean, I guess. You guys have asked me so many already. Okay, I understand that this can be a challenge for you, but just calm down. Now, um, the first question I have for you is, when did this start? Mm, well, it's been going on for months now, like two or three. Okay. Um, what has she done? Uh, I don't feel comfortable talking about that. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, is there any other questions that you want me to ask is there anything that you want to tell me or that she's crazy and i need a new home asap yeah um okay really all the questions i have for you hey you're so nosy is there any family that you know that we can contact um well i would say my dad but he's kind of gone do you have any aunts uncles or relatives so we can contact um well my aunt she's like across the whole country and my grandma is dead. Okay, well, we'll try to work something out. What's your connection with these people right here? Um, well, Penelope's my best friend, and I guess that's her family. Okay, well, Miss Olivia? Yes? Um, well, since, since Diego seems to know you all really well, maybe he could go with you? Um, I mean, I'm sure that's a possibility. We haven't really talked about it yet as a family. If that's okay with you all, I'm sure if he's fine with it, you know. We would have to run a background check on you just to make sure that we're sending him with somebody who doesn't have any any kind of criminal history. We do want to avoid putting him into the system or in foster care or anything like that. Right, of course. So what would everything we would need to do? Foster so care? No, you won't. We, we're going to try our best to, not make sh to make sure that you're not put in foster care. But Miss Olivia, we would have to run a background check on you, and then I'd probably have we probably have to call somebody from Child Protective Services to come and help out as well, and you'd have to sign a lot of paperwork. All right, what do you think? Why does my life have to be so difficult? It's okay, Diego. We'll figure everything out. Um. No, this is not okay. It's not okay. It's never okay. I shouldn't have to be dealing with this. I know, I know. It's not fair. It really isn't fair. Mr. Police Officer, what would we have to do for tonight? Because it is really late. It is around 2 a.m. Tonight, the best thing that I can recommend is we, we don't really want to keep him here overnight. So we do have to question his mother and find out her side of the story. And I guess we could just send him home with you tonight and uh, get a fresh start early in the morning. Can you guys just go wait in the lobby? We'll call you back in a little bit. Um, of course. Don't even worry about calling me back. All right, come on, kids. Let's go back out. Okay, ma'am. So we've got to talk to your family, and now it's your turn since you've been able to calm down a little bit. So I'm going to open the cell, and can you please follow us into the interrogation room? Well, I'm not sure if I'm calm about this situation, but okay. Ma'am, please don't, you know, do anything that you would regret. Now follow me. I won't. I won't, but I may or may not. 
we're just gonna have you stay here for a minute try not to make any sudden movements because we don't want to make this any worse on you than it already is okay okay your son already explained his side of the story but can you please explain yours yes yes i actually can I raised my son very well. I'm your typical mother. I haven't done anything wrong. I feed him several times a day. I take care of him. We spend quality time. I'm not sure what my son's telling you. Um, well, based on what your son said, that you've been, you've been doing things that no mother should do, and you've been treating him very poorly at home. I, I mean, um, maybe? I don't... I don't think I have, but um, please don't go through my records. Those should not be looked at. I can get a lawyer if I need to. Ma'am, we do have the right to go through your records as it is sensitive police information. You can have a lawyer and an attorney with your court hearing, which will be in a couple of months. But right now, you're going to be placed under arrest. I can't do this. I I need to take care of my son. I'm, I'm a loving mother. Can't you let him back with me? Diego! Diego, we're going home. Ma'am, have a seat. Diego! Ma Ma'am, ma'am, get back in the room and have a seat, ma'am. What did you get tell back. the police? Ma inside of the room now. Have a seat. Go have a seat, ma'am. I'm taking a seat. Don't you see me? I'm, I'm sitting to my seat. I'm sitting. I'm sitting. You made this so much worse on yourself than it already is, ma'am. You're going to be placed under arrest because you have outstanding warrants. And based on what you're based on what you're implying right now, you've been doing some things that a mother should not be doing to their child. Ma'am, how much time do you spend with your son a day? I mean, he's always over at that... What's her name? Like, Liv? Trash? I, I don't know her name. But, um, she's always over at his friend's house. Her mom's something. She's really annoying. <laughs> but yeah, I don't spend much time with him anyway, since he's always over there with his friend. What was their name? So you don't P know who you're spending oh, your no. child with, ma'am? Diego, can you please come back and talk to your mom with us real quick? Oh, my gosh. Okay, fine. Okay, so we brought Diego in here like you asked, and I think that you truly owe him an apology. I'm sorry, Sam, even though I didn't do anything wrong. Just go ahead and tell the policeman I did nothing wrong. Diego, is this true? Did your mom not do anything wrong? Um... Well, you know what? I can't say one thing. I can possibly forgive you, but one thing I will not do is forget what you did to me. You're just in here and begging me to say that you didn't do anything just so you can get out. But you know what? That's not what I'm going to do. Diego, when we get home, you're going to get it. Oh, there's not going to be a when we get home anymore because I'm out of here. No, Diego. Diego. Diego, Diego, you Get can go back to the here in the lobby with um, Miss Olivia and her family. I cannot believe you, ma'am. All right, so that's the end for this session. So, man, I'm gonna, ma'am, I'm gonna uncuff you from the chair and please follow me. All right, Diego's mom has been placed under arrest, and you can take him home. We ran a background check for you. Okay. And we'll be having social services work very close with you because we do feel that if Diego's okay with it, that he'd be good in your child care. All right, Diego, is that okay if you come stay with us for a bit this summer until the court date? Um, I mean, I guess it's fine as long as there's any other home that I can stay at. All right. Well, okay, that's fine. Is there anything else we need to do for the night or can I take the kids home? It's really late. You should be able to take the kids home. We will be sending information to your email and um, we have your phone number so we should be able to contact you. But we will be contacting you further through to inform you with updates and uh, we'll be, like I said, we'll be working very closely to get social services on your team. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Mm-hmm. All right, okay, kids, come on, let's go get in the car and let's head home for the night. All right, it's time to go home and let's just go get us situated. All right, Diego, I have your bag in the bag. Do you need to stop at your house for anything else or is that pretty much it? That was it, but there's not even space for me in the car. Don't worry, we'll make space. Um, There's a middle seat you can sit in if that's okay. Okay. All right, well, are we ready to head home, guys? Mm-hmm. All right, well, we'll get a room situated for you when we get home if that's okay. It's just like an ocean. Sometimes everything just gets 
Okay, so we just got home. Um, Diego, obviously you pretty much already know the place, but if you want to follow me upstairs, um, I'm just going to quickly show you where you'll be staying. And obviously, if it becomes long-term or anything, um, and for obviously right now, you're welcome to decorate your room any way you want. Um, I can order some stuff from Amazon, you know, we can decorate it. But I do have to tell you, and I'll have to... Um, let the police station know and the social services that we are going on vacation next week So, um, I'll have to let them know about that, but i'm sure you'll want to come, right? Um, yeah, I mean it's like I usually go to vacation anyway, so it'd be like a big change Yeah, okay. Well, this is your room that you'll be staying in for right now Oh, wow, it's so big. Yeah, it's just our guest bedroom, but you're welcome to decorate it any way you would like I absolutely love this room. Honestly, like I said, I didn't really have much of this at home, so thank you. Of course, it's all yours. Well, it is really late. Um, as you know, um, the bathroom is right out here, um, so it's actually really close to your room, so you can kind of, you know, unpack some stuff, and then obviously, if you need anything, please let me or Penelope know, and we'll buy you it. If you need like a toothbrush, brush, anything like that, I just want to mm. really make you feel welcome here. Mm, okay, that's fine. Penelope, I'm so excited. No, it's like 20,000 sleepovers, you know? Yeah. All right, where did Theo yeah. crawl off to? Okay, well, I will be in my bedroom if you need anything, getting ready and doing my skincare. <gasps> we should do it, get ready to see TikTok. Um, yeah, I mean, but I'm kind of like all red from crying. Um, well, maybe you can do yeah. one tomorrow morning. It's really late, and I think you yeah, guys we'll should- Yeah, we'll do one tomorrow morning. I think you guys should get to bed. Yeah, okay, I'm going to bed. Good night, Diego. Good night, Penelope, and thank you once again, Miss Olivia. Of course, anything. Well, if you have any questions, my room is just down the hallway. Don't feel afraid to ask. All right, that's fine. Um, good night, Phoebe, and good night, Theo. Night. All right, I think Theo's in his room. All right, good night. Don't worry, I'll escape someday. Just you wait.